Short-term rental property ordinances within Crowan County are continuing to cause disagreement among different cities and townships. The Crowan County Board invited multiple representatives of different cities and townships to discuss the best course of action moving forward. Our reporter Ryan Bowler has more. The Crowan County Board used their public health authority to create a health ordinance for select zones within the county that don't already have their own individual ordinance regarding short-term rentals. Short-term rentals are rental um, units that are in our community that are rented for less than 30 days. That's generally how we define it, so we're not talking about hotels, we're not talking about resorts, we're talking about generally individual residential units that are rented out um, on a short-term basis. With a packed house of different representatives from all across the county, board members asked each of them how they believe the policy should be handled moving forward. Prices in the local market, at least on the Cuyuna range, have gone up substantially, and it's due predominantly to the investment in these vacation rentals and taking properties off the entry-level, low-end part of the housing market and turning them into vacation rentals. That's a societal cost which can't be measured just in dollars and cents and should weigh on your decision. While some would like to see big changes to the policy, including banning short-term rentals, others would like the county ordinance to remain as it is. We would like to see that opportunity stay. Um, even though we are one of the larger cities within the county, we still recognize that there'd be a significant challenge for us to have the capacity to manage um, who's online um, trying to rent their homes, how do you enforce that, manage all of those steps that you're taking right now for septic, septic compliance and things of that nature. Um, and we know that that would be a significant challenge for us to stay on top of. To simplify, some cities and townships want the county to be in charge of regulating the ordinance, while others feel they have the right to create their own standards. That really was the crux of the issue that got this thing started, was folks wanted to have us administer it through the city, but imagine how many cities there are, and all of you would want it slightly differently, and we just can't manage that. We're pretty good at one size fits all, but we're not great at variation across all of the cities. Reporting in Brainerd, I'm Ryan Bowler, Lakeland News. The county made revisions to the ordinance on November 7th, but it was not finalized due to some backlash. The county will now look to draft a new ordinance to take effect on the first of the year. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.